Okay, folks, for this screencast, what I want to do is uh, do some more Newton Rapson. If you go to Google and you Google Newton Rapson MATLAB, my video is the third video to pop up. And maybe that's just because I'm local or something like that. But um, this video has 38,000 views, and um, it's the most video, it's the video that I have the most views of on my entire channel. Um, what I did, what I, what I was looking at the other day was that although Newton Rapson is very popular, um, I don't see it in very many other languages. At the same time, if you look at, if you try to look at videos for, you know, uh, you know, how to how to code in multiple languages or something like that, you, I don't think you're gonna find anything. You know, how to learn multiple languages at the same time and and, and whatnot. And I mean, most of the time I see like top ten programming languages to learn. You know, all those things in 2016, and that's all well and good. But I actually want to see, you know how to code in multiple languages and so you can do individual ones like how to code in python and that's all well and good but what i wanted to do was learn how to do it in, in every language so what i'm actually going to do is i'm going to embark on this journey where i literally do um newton rapson in every single programming language i know so here are all the programming languages i know and we're going to start here at libreoffice which is essentially just a uh, spreadsheet program and we are going to uh, dive in. So without further ado, I'm going to open up uh, Libre, LibreOffice Calc, and we are going to do Newton Rapson um, in a spreadsheet program. Okay, so here I have my spreadsheet open. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to teach, uh, in every single one of these languages, I'm going to teach how to do um, vectors and functions. So basically, I'm going to have my, my uh, x iterations here on this column, I'm going to have my uh, iteration um, iteration number here. And so obviously I'm going to start at 1 and then I'm going to do this plus 1 and I'm going to scroll all the way, all this one all the way down. Now I'm going to do this all manually just because I can and I know there's other ways to do it, um, but it is what it is. So my initial guess is 10 um, and so that's what I'm assuming the initial guess is for Newton Rapson. Um, so what's my function of x? Well, I'm going to say it's um, this column minus 1 squared, okay? And then f prime, remember for newton raphson you, uh, you need the derivative, is going to obviously be 2 times this guy minus 1. And then the newton raphson iteration sequence is the iteration above minus f of x divided by f prime. And so if I yank this down, it's going to give me a divide by zero error. But if I yank this down, it's going to give me a divide by zero error. But once I divide, bring this one down, it fills in the entire row. And you look at the iteration sequence and you notice that it eventually converges to one. Now, why did it converge to one? Well, because the function has a zero at one. When x equals one, the function is zero. So um, I'm going to essentially do this in every single programming language I know. Um, if the programming language allows it and you can plot, uh, let's see, uh, I am going to, let's see, add x values, range for x values. If you can plot intrinsically in the program, I will also plot. Um, it's finished. There you go. Sweet. So here is Newton Raphson in. Um, in a, a spreadsheet program, I can make this minus five, and the graph will update from minus five. I can do 20, and it'll update from 20, and obviously the number of iterations is fixed, so this is more of like a for loop rather than a while loop, but it uh, gets the point across. So um, that is it for LibreOffice, and what's coming next is MATLAB. So here we go.